Hi, I am Manjiri Kondewar from Informatica Global Customer Support. Today I am going to talk about how to customize business term template in business glossary from Informatica Analyst. Agenda of today's presentation is who can modify business term template followed by the demo. Finally, I would explain you rank concept. Who can modify template? Any user who has edit template privileges on the glossary can modify the business term template. Business term template is specific to a glossary. From analyst tool, there is a manage menu, glossary security and privileges tab. We can give the edit template privileges. Let me log in to the ad analyst tool. On the right hand side in the analyst tool we see manage menu. In this we have to go to the glossary security. Now for the privileges select the privileges. I have selected administrator user and as you see this particular glossary has edit template privileges. So the administrator user has edit template privileges on SQL 201 for glossary. Optionally we can add the glossary. Let's say PR glossary I am adding. Now here edit template. By default administrator user has this privileges. Save. Now we can open the SQL 2014 glossary click on the open button this will open the library tab which will have all the assets listed here let us go to the glossaries and I will open SQL 2014 glossary now we can edit the glossary when we edit the glossary there are various tabs like general business initiative template business term template category template policy template I want to show you how I can edit the business term template. The business term template form has default sections like general, status, people, context. There are some predefined uh, properties available, for example, names, synonyms, categories. Sometimes it, these pro default properties are not sufficient to define a business term template in that case the glossary administrator can always add additional fields so I'm adding new field the name property name is field demo this is a string value it's a single value data type is string search rank is minimum if the field results needs to be the part of search from analyst tool then we have to mark this field as a searchable field now sorry property label here the field I will add to the default section this is the label that will appear here and this is let's say this field is required field and some default data is uh, demo default now we can save after saving the field you can see that this new field field demo is added under the general section you can delete or edit the existing fields for example I will show you here that we are deleting the string property field now using this up down left right arrow buttons we can always rearrange the fields we can change the layout of the form now let us add another field and this will be multi-value field
this is the multi value field and I am selecting data type as enum let us say searchable rank is high and let me add some values to this enum let me mark this field also as a searchable field let us add to the context section and I am done with the changes and I am keeping this field as optional so required checkbox is not checked as you can see the field will be added under context in a multi value demo is the field and as it is multi value field there is this drop down uh, button also now I am done with the changes in my business term template so let me save and finish with this the changes that I have done to the business term template are saved now let me create a new business term and I would create it in the glossary let me name it as a demo term now as you can see that under general the property that we have added field demo is added and it has taken the default value as demo default now under context in a multi value demo is added and we can add some value to this so I am selecting it as a debug now save and finish okay if we go to the glossary again let us edit the glossary browse to the business term template and I would select one of the properties that we have recently added so this multi value property this one now I am editing this property under where use it will show the glossary where it has been used with this my demo of how to customize business term template is over and now I would explain you the rank concept okay now let's say we have created new attribute or properties a1 with the ranking as high a2 with the medium ranking and a3 with the low ranking let's say we are defining three business terms t1 t2 t3 as shown in this diagram t1 is having using the attribute a2 which has the value game t2 is using a1 with the value game t3 is using a3 with the value game when we search in the analysis for the string game the results would be displayed in the order of t2 t1 t3 because of the ranks that are defined for the attributes Thank you for attending the demo. With this, my presentation is done. Thank you very much.